your day so far, Matt? How are you doing? Good, man. Sounds good. Sounds good, Matt. So, Matt, on January 21, 2022, you're releasing your third full-length album, Yambrers and Fools. So, can you tell me a bit about the songwriting process and the production behind this album? Okay, um, so the songwriting process, uh, you know, Freddie and I, we live in completely different areas, but um, but we have, you know, obviously, the, like a lot of the same interests, um, a lot of the same loves of mu music, our, the style and everything, and we really had a, a vision when, whenever we started talking about working together back years and years ago, back when we were both in, in Ice Earth, um, we wanted to do, you know, our own thing and, and, and you know, work off of each other's strengths and and that's the main thing and and i think it's it's really cool um you know we push each other to do to do better um and and, and build these songs together so everything every song that we do is really truly a collaboration i don't think any i don't think either one of us has just ever given up and gone oh whatever you want you know it's not like that um so like a lot of these songs they start out as most songs do very basic uh, frameworks and then add on and move things around and, you know, put things in different places. And, um, you know, uh, we both contribute, uh, lyrically. I think Freddie probably contributed more lyrically to this record than he has in, in the past because he had some ideas and, uh, you know, early on in the early stages. And of course I'm, you know, I'm open to that, that, that kind of takes, takes a bit off of my plate where that's concerned. If he has lyrical ideas or con conceptual ideas, and then we can work on things together and, I'll, you know, maybe I add, maybe he's got, you know, a basic framework and I add stuff. So really, it, it really truly is a collaboration and it's a lot of fun. Um, I think one of the things that maybe work, maybe does work for us is that is that separation where it might not work for, for other people that you have, you know, uh, people come together and jam and that's, that's their style. We're more of a style of like, we, we, we are both writers. We know how to write. We know how to compose songs and things like that and we know what what you know what are are strong and weak and you know i mean obviously that's that's uh, objective um you know some people probably don't like ashes very songs and that's fine but we know what we like and that's that's the main point and hopefully other people you know like what we produce but um you know sometimes that separation may be a good thing because it, it gives us time to like kind of marinate on songs you know we're not forced to like push something out and or get to get you know we can only write songs when we get together because we we can do it this way because we're never together so we just share files back and forth and and i like you know when you're marinating on a, on a song or a or a, a melody or or a you know a just a guitar riff or whatever for a while and then you go pow there it is and then you can go back and, and do that i mean you know modern technology is is pretty amazing it's been yeah. amazing for songwriters um, all over the place because people before that couldn't necessarily be songwriters because of partnerships or or lack thereof now can have partnerships from you know all around the world so that's pretty amazing stuff so um yeah and and as far as uh writing this record um you know writing started fairly soon after the last record came out but you know obviously with covid and everything else it kind of put the brakes on stuff we we've actually had this this record pretty much all written and recorded uh, was already written and recorded in like 2020. Uh, but we couldn't get into a studio um, in Arizona where, uh, where we could mix it and master it and all that stuff. We don't, we're not, we're kind of old school, older guys. We don't have all that ability to, to do all that stuff in, in an in-home studio. I mean, we do take advantages of, of, of technology and, and record our stuff at home. Um, but we can't do, we can't do the mix and the master. That's just beyond our our capabilities. So you gotta every man's gotta know his limitations. Um, so unfortunately, we were we were pushed back with that, and then um, you know we just was every, everything with the you know the demand for stuff. Uh, we got pushed back even farther because of production after we got after we got the the uh, the final recordings to to roar. Um, stuff got pushed back for production of vinyl and all the stuff because it's just to, totally backlogged. Um, so, you know, it, it, it is what it is. I'm, I still think that it's not like that, uh, you know, a year is going to be the difference of, of whether the record's relevant or not. I think that we, we write songs that are hopefully relevant throughout time. Um, I've, I've been happy, happy to be involved in, in not, not just this band, but, you know, other, other bands that, that are much the same, you know, we've got 30 year old songs out there and people go, well, yeah, it's, you know, I listen to it all the time. It's still relevant. So hopefully Ashes is going to have that same kind of relevance 
And again, a, a year is not going to, uh, you know, make or break uh, the relevance of this record. Actually, actually, I think maybe some of the content on the record may, even, may be even more relevant today than it was, um, you know, two, last year or two years ago when we were writing it. So, um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I just got to see it. And I, I can't say what it is, but I just got to see the, uh, the, the lyric video, the fir our first uh, lyric video that we're going to release in, uh, later on this month. So um, I, I can't wait for people to see it. I think it's going it's, it's to, it's a, fa a face melter. So it, it should be really cool, man. I, I can tell you that. I'm gonna be. We're not starting off with a with a, a laid back uh, like the last the last record we did, which, um, you know, um, I, I still don't necessarily think it's 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 not like a mellow song. It's actually a very heavy song, but you know, um, Soul Searcher was was definitely a mellower start to to the release of the record. So this is we've gone the opposite on this one. We're like we're gonna melt their faces right out of the gate, and then uh, you know see what happens. So I'm I'm really. I'm really looking forward to people's reactions to this and uh, and hopefully everybody digs it. Awesome, awesome, Matt. And uh, was there any particular concept that was put behind this album? No, we don't have, you know, we're not doing any concepts. Uh, we, you know, like the last record we had the the three, you know, the, tr the trilogy kind of a thing. We didn't really go that direction with this one, but there's there's certainly some, you know, some themes and some, which we, we kind of weave stuff through most of the records, a lot of the, a lot of the songs have, you know, similarities. Um, and, you know, some of that, a, a great number of the songs um, were sort of, um, whenever we did this, the single uh, for, for um, Throne of Inequity, it, it definitely gave a, a, a basis for a, like a, a lot of the theme of this, of this record. So um, if you can go off of that and, and kind of uh, glean off of that song, kind of what, you know, where the directions and that sort of kind of gives you an idea as far as emperors and fools. So you can sort of read into things. Um, you know, it certainly has some implications as far as the things that are going on in the world right now. <clears throat> but it's it's really also a history lesson um, because, you know, we, 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 keep, we keep continuing to, to not learn from history. And that's sort of the, that's sort of the thing. And, and it's a kind of part of it is, is that, you know, certainly the, the, uh, the theme and the, you know, we, we did a, the title, the title track for, for that, for Emperors and Fools is, is definitely, um, you know, you definitely grab that. And there's some, some definite uh, things about um, like Throne of Inequity. Uh, so I, I think people will, will pick up on the themes, but there's also some other standalone uh, songs uh, that are more, um, you know, you know, my, as you know, I like to tribute um, comics and stuff a lot. So you're definitely going to get some of that on this record uh, without giving away too much. Um, there's some, you know, some personal, soulful, uh, and you know, um, uh, what am I looking for? Um, inflection or 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 or, or uh, reflection, I guess, personal reflection. Uh, Kind of songs in, on here as well, so um, it, it's it's really diverse. I would say that more than anything, I think people were going to pick up the notes of like of, of Freddie and I's um, kind of our uh, where we got started, where what we got you know sort of started cutting our teeth on, which was like a lot of uh, thrashy, you know, American, you know, U.S. thrash, uh, Bay Bay Area, mm -hmm. um, and or um, you know, death metal stuff. So there's definitely a lot of influence from from those uh, those types of genre. In this again, I, I don't know that we can stick ourselves in a category because we're not we don't really like that because we do we do what we do and and we're influenced by all kinds of stuff. But uh, but there's definitely more shades of of that in I think in this record. There's definitely like a lot of just you know pounding stuff and uh, so I think people will. Well, I hope people will dig it. I'm not certainly gonna not gonna presume anything. But. Sounds amazing, Matt. Sounds amazing. And in the song "Monsters Lamb," and you brought up. Tim the Ripper Owens yeah. on the song. So how did this happen? I know Tim was also in the band Ice Church before for some time he was playing. right. Yeah. So how did this yeah. kind of happen? Well, you know, Tim and I and, and Freddie and we, you know, we 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 keep in contact through social media and 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 all that stuff anyway. And and you know, we have like a lot of like interests and, and things obviously outside of you know being uh, that having that connection with Ice Earth, but um, you know, we're we're all we're all in this in this together right now, especially uh, going through going through COVID and all that. And uh, you know, Tim Tim does music for a living, mm -hmm. so uh, we just thought it might be cool 
A, we've been talking about doing a collaboration for a while. It just seemed like the right time because, you know, we could actually, you know, pay him as a musician and, and, and get him to participate. And, um, and we did that for a couple, a couple of musicians that, we, that have uh, done guest spots, um, you know, uh, Bill Hudson and, and you know, guys uh, doing, doing guitar parts. So, um, you know, we just thought that this was a, a good idea. This was a song that actually Freddie's had for a, a while. Freddie um, wrote the, the lyrics for it. He had the concept, this idea of, of, of a duet type, type thing. It's a duet, but not really. Uh, it, I mean, it is, it, it, but it's, you know, two, two separate characters playing, you know, essentially, or, you know, Tim and I playing two separate characters. And uh, it's quite lengthy, uh, but it's, it's really cool too, man. It's got, it's, you know, it's, it's, you know, the face ripping parts and then, the, then, you know, more mellow stuff and kind of coming back up. So um, it's, uh, it's over 11 minutes long. And uh, I think it, I think it really is a, a very cool composition, man. And I hope that people like it. We, we, you know, intentionally going into it, um, you know, Freddie had lyrics, but he didn't necessarily have the, the vocal melody. So I worked the, the melodies out. And then the stuff that I, I worked out, I worked out for, for Tim and I, and then I gave it to Tim, but, but I didn't hold him in the con, kind of the constraints of, I didn't say, Hey man, use this kind of voice or do this. I just wanted him to, be, you know, do Tim, you know, how, whatever, whatever kind of, struck him the way that, that it struck him and just kind of following at least, you know, our, the template and kind of staying within, within certain boundaries, but, but letting him be himself. And I think that really played off. Um, I was able to kind of do something almost like a, a point counterpoint to what, what he's doing. So, um, you know, Tim's, Tim's doing Tim and Matt's doing Matt. And so it, hopefully it, it, hopefully it, it hits people in the, in the right way that, you know, we were trying to create something that was, you know, ebb and flow and, you know, we're not competing against each other we're you know we're, we're weaving it so that it's it's making a cohesive and uh, a cohesive song with with different characters involved so um, I'm hoping that people dig it sounds good and uh, right now it's just you and Freddie so in the future do you have any plans to bring in more musicians into the band as far as I don't know man as far as the writing process I, I don't know um, I you know I don't want to I don't I never want to say never but um, we, we kind of like what we're doing as far as, you know, how we're kind of controlling the flow and the, and the creative aspect of it. Um, but I, I, but I would never say never, you know, I it just, that, that just be, would be the wrong thing to do. Um, so, uh, but I, I just, I like what Freddie and I do. Um, we, we enjoy doing it. It takes um, some of the, the headache out of it, I guess, just do the, the two of us um, putting things back and forth. And like I said, if, if it comes to, you know, adding the, the, the icing on the cake or whatever, if, if other musicians um, can, can add to, uh, then that would be great. Like, you know, like a lot of the, the, you know, the, the lead stuff and all this, you know, the things that, that we've had other musicians on, um, you know, obviously their, their abilities add to the songs, but as far as the, the basic strong song structure, if we can kind of do what we do first and then kind of maybe add to that, that, that would certainly be a, a cool thing. But, um, but, you know, everybody that we that we use, that we work with typically are, are friends, you know, because um, because they're easier. You know, typically, you know, friends are easier to work with and, and certainly we pay them. Uh, so that's that makes it even even that much better. Um, and, and the same way with our live shows, you know, we, we usually work with people that we that we like and then we pay them and we you know make sure that they get paid. And and that's a that's a huge, huge thing for us. We wouldn't ever ask anybody to do something for free. Um, Freddie and I essentially work for free, but it's because this is our, this yeah. is our, our, so, um, it, it's, uh, you know, it is, it is what it is there. Um, anyway, I hope that answered your question. I don't know. I started yeah. rambling there. <laughs> and, uh, do you have any plans for touring that has been lined up for you in early 2022? Not yet, man. I'm, you know, I think the thing is it's, it's, it's sketchy for, for everybody, uh, obviously at this point hopefully things start opening back up and it would be great to do something uh, for sure to get out there and just, you know, let the folks know that we're, you know, we can, we can not only do this stuff in, uh, in the studio, but we can also do it, do it live. We still, we still got it. I mean, I'm, a, I'm a bit older now, but, but I'd like to at least, you know, if nothing else to challenge myself and, uh, and get out there. And it's been a while, man. I mean, hell, it's been, it's been a while for, for, um, you know, per perfect, you know, professional musicians, guys that actually go out there and make, living doing it so um you know it's been it's been a minute since since we've been out there as well wonderful and uh 
our ashes was started back in 2012. So how has the road been for you so far? It's good, man. I mean, obviously, you know, Freddie and I have have careers uh, outside of music, so it 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 does limit us, uh, certainly as far as touring and things like that. But you know, it, I I just love the process. I love the process of writing music. I love it, the process of recording music. Uh, I do love getting out and, and touring, but you know, we are again, we're limited with that. So it, it, whatever aspect I can I can add. Um, any anytime that I, that can I can be artistic, um, I'm happy. And as so long as folks are happy with with the product that we put out and, and you know buy the records, hopefully, um, and that's that's going to be, you know, keep kind of keep me in the loop for a while. You know, I have I have a, a few more years uh, to put in, in in this career before I can you know consider retiring. Um, but uh, you know, my musical career doesn't need to retire ever as, as long as I can keep you know keep you know, belting stuff out and, uh, and maybe it might open up some more opportunities for, for me to tour if, uh, you know, once I'm done with, with, with my main gig. So, um, you know, we'll see, man, it's, it's coming up pretty close that I've got like two more years before I hit my 20 mark. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. And, uh, Matt, I know it's been many decades that you've been making music, amazing music throughout the years, and there should be a lot of great moments that you had. Would you like to share some of the most memorable ones with me today? Yeah, man, it's, man, it's, it's really, I mean, I, I guess the thing is, is that it, it's, it's hard to pin down, you know, exact examples of stuff, but, you know, the, it, you know, my, my main takeaway is just so many years of, of being, of meeting, you know, wonderful people. Like, you know, it started, you know, uh, obviously it started out with, uh, with Iced Earth uh, and, and working on my first real studio project uh, with Burn Offerings and, you know, meeting, uh, meeting the Morris brothers. Uh, first started working with, with Jim and then, then uh, or with, with Tom rather, and then, you know, ended up doing several records with, with Jim. Uh, all the musicians that have you know flowed in and out of that that studio that I've that I've met, um, all the folks that I've met on the, on the road and touring, um, I've you know I had the you know the the absolute pleasure of touring with uh, with the guys in Nevermore for so many years. It led to friendships. Um, it, you know, obviously we're still friends with with Van. Van still Van's performing on the the this latest record as well, though he's not a, an official member. He's played on every on every on a, every Ashes record, so it. You know, just those kind of things, man. They're it's, you know, they're they're things that you can't you can't really describe. It's it's almost just a just a just a feeling of joy. You know, whenever you think about that, it's you know all the all the folks that have have really been out there working with you and and uh, just you know with the same desires and the same and the same loves and the same interests. And it's just really hard to convey that sometimes to to other folks who don't who don't exactly don't exactly know. It's sort of like the the secret that you, you you can tell, but you can't really describe the the, the feeling of it. Um, you know, just and you know, I, I don't know, man. It's just you know, I've, I've always loved, <clears throat> I've always loved music, and then when I was able to do it, um, you know, on a, on the next level, on that professional level, uh, with folks that were so talented and in whatever, whether whether they're musicians or whether they're producers or engineers or whatever, just the, the talent level of uh, folks, um, it just gives you a whole, a whole other perspective on, on life. And I think that that's, I'm sure that that's, I'm not the only person that feels that way in, in whatever career or goal, you know, that they set out. If you're an athlete or, or, you know, a, a professional business person or whatever, uh, I'm sure that your, your life changes as soon as you meet those people that have those same loves and desires and things like that. And, and you collaborate and you do things and you, you know, push forward and, and make things better and, you know, make, make life better for other people. And at least that's the, you know, part, certainly part of one of my goals. I, I hope that, you know, that the things that I do make life better for other people. And, uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it's really hard to describe, you know, I try to do that with my, with my kids and kind of get them encouraged and, in doing, um, you know, whatever it is that their desires are, whatever it is that drives them, the, 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 their, their loves, their passions, and, uh, you know, never, never want them to, to give up on those or, uh, you know, it, you know, you can always get a, you can always have a job. It may not be, it may not be the end all, but, but if you're, if you're pursuing something that you love, a passion, then that's, that's so very, very important. 
And, um, you know, I've been fortunate enough to, to follow a couple passions in my life and have, you know, been successful. So I'm happy. I mean, I'm successful, at least in my mind on whatever level that of success that is. But, but I think that ultimately that is, that is success. If you feel like you have success and you're happy in what you're doing, then that is success. So, um, some people put a, a dollar value on it. I certainly couldn't do that, but, um, but I can certainly put a, uh, a happiness, you know, if there's like a little dollar sign for happiness, that's, that's where I am. So, yeah. So amazing, amazing match. And Matt, I know the album is two months away, but uh, is there anything on your mind that you want to do on something special on the day of the release? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure we're going to, I'm sure we're going to, we're, we're trying to cook up things right now. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes and we'll see if we can coordinate with the, uh, with the record label and all that. Um, you know, I don't know if we'll have anything, uh, anything, our hands on anything right here because our, our labels in Greece and, you know, with, with shipping and all that stuff, the craziness that's going on right now in the world, it may, it may take a minute, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. Maybe, you know, maybe there's something digitally or something that we can do uh, for, for fans and, and, you know, I don't know, man, we'll, we'll brainstorm it. We've, we've got, we've got an idea and, and they've got a really good, uh, you know, PR uh, department over there at Roar. So, um, we'll, we'll be working on ideas, I'm sure. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, I, I guess the, the only thing I can say is that I hope that, that folks really, um, really like what we're, what we introduce them with, with the, the videos and stuff like that, um, that, that always kind of precede a record, but, but please keep in mind that, you know, every one of those, every time you buy a record, we're, we're, we're building it and building it and building it. And, uh, and we'll just keep kind of, building the machine and keeping it chugging forward and uh so yeah there's that sounds good and uh matt finally what would be the message from you to your fans around the world well you know without you guys i wouldn't be here you know so um you know it, it, it there's I, I guarantee there's there's probably um you know a, a ton of people around the world that have you know an ama amazing talents that haven't been discovered um, but, you know, I was fortunate enough to be able to, um, to play in a very successful band before this one. And then, you know, obviously utilizing that, um, that, uh, as, you know, being able to continue on with my career for all these many years. So, I mean, I'm just extremely grateful, um, to all the folks that have, have kept listening and have kept, you know, being positive and giving me positive input and, uh, and even the, the folks that have given me negative input, because that, that helps me grow too. So, um, you know, I, I certainly don't don't mind a critique uh, as long as it's not mean, you know, don't be mean with your critiques. But, uh, but you know, critiquing is, is, is part of the growth process as well. And, uh, and so I'm, I'm really grateful to, to everyone who's really given a listen and, and actually given a shit. So, and, and given their opinion. So it, uh, it, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing. And, um, I'm, you know, I'll, I'll be forever grateful. So, so thank you to, to everyone. Sounds awesome, Matt. And Matt, thank you so much for giving me today this opportunity to interview you. It's a real pleasure hey, and honor to me to talk to you. And we all hey, look forward for the release of Embers and Fools on January 21st, 2022. And I wish you and Freddie all the success in the band. And we look, hope to see you in the future on the road. I, I hope so too, man. It's been my pleasure. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you, Matt. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. Cheers, man. Peace.